Welcome back. We are playing Victoria 3 as Arabia. Started from the bottom, now we're here. We started as Egypt, which isn't quite the bottom. They're probably a pretty easy start. Notably, I really enjoyed how Egypt has a very easy colonial run, because you just push into here, and then your colonies, not only do you have colonies, but they have railway access, because you're directly adjacent, which is like something that... Uh, the railway infrastructure can support much more productive colonies. Like, you can expand all the way out with everything, and you'll still be uh, in good shape. Um, anyways, so, just came up the stairs, which is why I'm breathing a little heavy. We, so this episode, ah, we're lagging. So this episode, um, last episode we got an alliance with Prussia. We tried to pick a fight with Russia by attacking Persia, but it didn't work. But they did, uh, we did manage to switch up their, uh, what's it called? Government stuff. Uh, we are keeping our infamy low. And we are looking to finish two achievements, which we're getting kind of close to. We need alliances with major powers, which is tough. Uh, and we need to research Dreadnought, which is not so tough. I think, just to get this achievement, it looks like our auto building is not keeping up here. We'll let a week tick and see if uh, our auto building can keep up. If not, we'll add a bunch more production. I think we are reaching the point where we are producing more buildings than we could uh, get people to service, which is a little okay, but not a lot of okay. So we might let. Hmm. Now we're running a huge. What are we running a deficit? Kind of okay with the prestige hit. Can we declare another rivalry? Probably not. Oh, we'll rival the East India Company. Because they hate our guts anyway. The you know, problem is most of the great powers hate our guts. So it makes it difficult. Uh, we're going to try and make... Let's see, coffee... Oil's gotten expensive, which... Yeah, well, not too much I can do about this. Um, I can fix the coffee one, though. focus on just doing a bunch in the Blue Nile, even though they don't have peasants, they'll migrate. Uh, so that's coffee. Tea is also expensive. Well, can produce tea. In all these places. And then what else is expensive? Coal. Uh, Coal's always kind of going to be expensive. Fruit's getting expensive. Interesting. Well, we have a lot of these set up to auto-expand. This menu is a little bit easier for this. And we will just add banana plantations, I guess. Oh, no, I can't add here. And uh, we will let you auto-expand and we will make sure you are publicly traded. Which makes them less profitable, but we want them to be a little less profitable in our colonies. Uh, and it also increases our investment pool transfer. So this should fix the price of fruit. Once everything gets up and running, it should be able to handle itself. Why don't we give you the go-ahead on millet as well? Oh, you already have it on millet. Yeah, okay. Low well, market access where? Tunisia. Can you make ports? You can make ports, so we'll just add a couple ports. Because we want more convoys right now, anyway. 
Okay, and fixing those problems. What else is expensive? We'll just keep that going. Coal, coal is hard to fix because people are importing coal from us. So as we fix it, people just import more coal. Is the the real problem? Uh, can we declare war on France? None of these. I don't want any of these. Uh, well, I might want to take Tripoli, actually. <laughs> Which is something I could very easily take and hold Tripoli. I'd love to connect this via railroad. And uh, they're currently fighting Italy, so I think they'll just back down. We also want to fight Russia, but we don't want to fight Great Xing along with them. And they have a defensive pact. But maybe it's unavoidable. Um, uh, actually, let's check on relations here. We need to make relations worse here. Oh, if we end customs union, that ought to do it. Or help do it. Uh, we were trying to make them into our protectorate before we knew about the achievement where we just need to take Eastern Thrace as Arabia. So... It'll instantly give us a minus 30. And it is helping relations, so we'll just end it. And that'll help us get bad relations faster, which is what we want. Can we take on anyone's debt? Belgium was... <laughs> Great Britain. Circassia would be funny. Well, I feel like we might have to declare war on this guy. And then we will fight Russia alone. Oh, we'll fight them with Prussia. Yeah, so people are importing coal from us, so it's difficult to pull the price down. guess we just try and ban slavery in that place. Because it will pull Russia in, so we will have a land route in order to actually enforce demands. Uh, getting close to everything being telephone switchboards. Next time I have a problem uh, with that, I will just switch all over to telephone switchboards. So yeah, let's, uh, let's ban slavery, because that doesn't give us any enemies, and then we will add... This allows us to fight Russia. And we will look at our commanders. Put this guy on our biggest friend. And then put this guy on this friend. And really hope that he doesn't back down, because we're going to also add another demand. Great Xing is looking like he wants to support, which is unfortunate. Probably going to get swayed. I'm going to add the war goal of... Take Treaty Port and take Hokkaido Treaty Port. get some guys up here. I think we 
just want a couple up here. And what other orgles can we add? Liberate country, ooh. Well, considering I'm Armenian, Liberate Armenia looks attractive. I think it's not a very large state, but... Although we, we kind of want the land border with Russia so we can trade with them. We actually do have this land border. Does this count as a land border? I'm not sure. I wish it showed which states would get released in that. Uh, I don't care about any of those. Can humiliate them. War reps I think we want. And I guess liberating uh, Armenia. And we will add some guys to the fronts. Add some of the bigger guys to these bigger fronts. Is that their only supply network? I guess we'll raid that. Scandinavia wants a trade agreement. Well, Scandinavia, what happened to you? I suppose you're pretty close to getting into our customs union anyway. We could start bankrolling you. It's kind of expensive. We could stop bankrolling Japan, I guess. Because I don't think we get them into a protectorate. And it's really expensive bankroll. Actually, I think upgrade our this. Oh, that's expensive. What about upgrading here? Bike messengers. We will not upgrade. Oh, we can switch to modern ports in some places. Everywhere, even. We'll make coal cheaper. Why don't we modernize the port first at home? Here. It's gonna give us more infrastructure and convoys. And then we will start modernizing ports and building ports in order to get infrastructure for coastal places. We have a lot more mobilized. Uh, we assume Ching is going to join, though. So, which
which is actually why we were considering kicking this up. will raise the demand for the arms industries, but our arms industries will just expand, I think. And support it. Actually, mm, well, we just killed the morale for there for now. But. Japan, or sorry, France is importing automobiles. Which is nice, because, uh, still cautious towards us. This guy will join once he's not cautious. Shings. Okay. This is kind of going to be a big war for us. It doesn't look like it. said that the next time we need a bureaucrat, I mean, we would fully kick up this to telephone switchboards. We really want to capture this stuff and then close this front, so... And then probably just leave our Japanese... Ooh, where's this? Oh, that's an annoying one. Ooh, 44 coming in. Russian and... So maybe we want to only defend that front. span of stuff to watch. We cannot sway anyone. Wish we could sway them away. It's unfortunate because we have so much trade going with them. Actually, we'll start a new import route for fabric. It's Persia, I guess. Because it takes no convoys. And we're like really not worried about the bureaucratic admin. Because Ching is going to cancel their export route to us. Or it will get auto cancelled once we go to war. as will all the roots we have with Russia. Who this all kind of started because we wanted to embargo them. Are they worried? Good.
might have to activate conscripts. It's just our conscripts are kind of weak. Because we're not... Maybe we should have upped this stuff. It's just expensive, you know? But I mean... I guess if there's a time to do it, it would be now. Add those and first aid, I think, is not as a oh, that is an expensive one. Okay, we will add those. Okay, sure. Not trying to pass laws, so don't be the legitimacy. switch all these guys to defend at the front because this is a pretty big disadvantage and we will be keen to actually I'm going to switch this guy over to the Prussian front Looks like they are just gonna give up the Japan stuff pretty easily. And then we will stand down the Japanese army. Or the Japan army. Well, that's a nice tech to just spike. I suppose we could actually look to see. there are any other techs that are just gonna... Yeah, we probably should have researched machine gun. This war is gonna be expensive. And we're just trying to hold here. This could probably hold a while. We'll eventually lose. Push there and hold here. I don't think maybe we can't do this without Prussia, so nice that we had them. Alright, we will stand down the 10 stack in Japan to prevent naval invasions on one of the war goals. Fevzi. Once he takes all of this, we'll transfer him to this front. Little Fevzi. Looks like we're slowly win, but the question is, is can we win at a rate that is, uh... I think maybe I want to try and close that with Fez V once he finishes and just look to close front before coming in to here to help.
also after a few months have gone by we can uh, do some other stuff. We really need to push Armenia though, because Armenia is a war goal. Oh, we banned slavery in Kiva. We don't really care about that. Notice. No. We went so long without getting Ripper. We actually have a huge amount of radicals. A quarter of our pop is radical, and uh, let's see why. Unfulfilled political movement demands. He's still on about property of women and interventionalism. people really don't like laissez-faire. <sighs> and we don't even really need the investment pool, con well, we kind of need the investment pool contribution, that is keeping our construction up, but we can wind back our construction, and now, <sighs> no, we're going to keep laissez-faire for now. Ah, the good old whales, uh, whales fight, which has been going on for forever, because it's bugged. Alright, Fevzi, where are you? should advance this front. We should have just straight up declared war on Russia to begin with. Now I remember why our primary war goal is banned slavery. It's because we were trying to avoid getting a fight with Shing. But we get the fight with Shing anyways. Looks like we can hold firm here. Yeah, a bit of unfortunate. Organized crime. getting caught up in the make-believe whales war, but this is never, uh, finishable. We need to get the, the alliance thing going on, so we could take a little bit of a bump, try and get that working, in order to complete our, uh, alliances thing. Currently researching Dreadnought, so we will finish that soon. set both these guys to advance the front once he's done with his battle. Yeah, we have a significant tech advantage with uh, the trench warfare, but it, what it really matters for is defense, so that's why we're like defending here with half so many troops and still have an advantage. And pushing here with not as big a numerical advantage, but looks like we are getting close to taking out uh, maybe we should enact inventor in interventionalism. Our pops really want it. <sighs> okay, let's take a look. <sighs> oh no, 
about this. They want intervention in the economic system. So the advantage here is we get much more capitalist investment pool contribution. I don't really care about the loan interest rate. And here we lose a lot of that investment pool contribution. It's, we get a little bit of aristocrat one. And we also have tariffs, uh, right? Yeah, the IG that once laissez-faire is now so weak that the problem is it'll be like impossible to go back to laissez-faire. We're never getting them back there. And the investment pool can only be used to build this shit. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, we got caught up in this. Because we have a defensive pact with this idiot who's bugged. Oh, well, we're... Oh, do we have to send? We probably have to send something, actually. had to have sent something before. This is asinine. We'll just capitulate. You're on your own, bud. Looks like we're not gonna need our... Still cautious. Still cordial. Wow, and we finished a bunch of our queue. Let's see what's expensive. Probably all the shit that's inactive is causing a problem. Hey, trains are expensive. Perfect. That's the way we want it. Automobiles are expensive? Well... We're gonna fix that by uh, switching over. Oop. Some of these, I guess. If we switch this to automobile production. Lose a lot of money. Switch a couple over. Let's see. Steel mills. Oh, I meant to not click those to the top, but make Furniture has been expensive for forever. This radio is being expensive, makes us want to add more electronics industries. Where would you generate the most revenue? Urzum. We're building stuff in Urzum. Kasai, I think, is. Yeah, we'll build some in Mosul. Sinai. Palestine. Crete. We got Dredge. 
decide not, which we won't enable right now because then we'll be in for a bad time, but we will. So all we have to do is form alliances. They have to be with great powers. Who generally don't like us very much. Scandinavia is having some problems with that civil war. Looks like there have been slight advances by the Prussians into them. So they're set on advance. to wind down construction and switch to interventionalism. We've gotten the economy huge. Maybe it's a time to pull back a little bit. Because the, the big problem is having enough pops, anyways. And the radicalism creates problems, so... This will be a bit of an experiment, because we won't be able to wind, uh reverse the radicalism, but we'll, well, we can't destroy construction center from here. Why can't we, <laughs> we can only expand, burr, number only go up, that has to be a bug, we can't delete construction centers in this menu, what about this menu? Revolution brewing. Ah. Enact interventionalism. Okay. Well, it was nice while it lasted, I guess. I guess this is what we get for. We had to have keep. In order to. This is interesting. In order to keep, I think, uh. The trade union is too strong now to keep... We would have had to have kept industrialists happier, I think, and more powerful, and their cloud has just gone down and down and down, you know. Um, because now we're just more reliant on skilled workers, so... I guess we're going to go for interventionalism, because I think that this is where, like, the radicals are really coming from, and so... We're just going to do it. This will be a nice little learning experience, too. Who's this? Russia. Revolutionary Kiva. Alright. are coming here, which is what we wanted. We have taken Armenia. How much of this is Chinese? Yeah. 300,000, how much of this? Just 20. Interesting. Now, which Ottoman Empire is it? Because there's two. Are they almost not cordial? I don't know what the threshold for cordial is, but we do want to conquer this guy's state here to get our achievement. to add more to the queue. Guess I'll add motor industries in a couple of places. Which is the most profitable one that benefits from economies of scale. Oh, not Equatoria though. 
We don't want it there. I mean, it's profitable over there, but this a colony, not a... Actually, let's look at the pops. Like, how much of the pops have become unaccepted? Culture, not many. Not enough. I guess we will take the industrialists out of government. Because uh, that'll make it easier to pass the thing. Sounds like a menace. Yeah, I've been forced to count down to... ...my own government. Hey look, it's whales. It's still broken. Oh, now it's broken in three pieces. There's... <laughs> There's whales, whales, and whales. I think, uh, I think I'm good with this bugged out whales. Well, you know what's funny is I might have to pay war reps to Kiva. No, 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 I think I'm fine. Because <laughs> I was thinking of Russia. Uh, leaves, but somehow uh, Kiva stays in, then then we have a real problem. Because we can't get to Kiva without being able to go through Russia. Oh, that's rough. They're getting pushed with just that. Yeah, it seems like they are collapsing a little bit here. And we need to add more to our queue. Chemical plants, I guess. They're really productive. And let's take a look at infra. Who needs it? Nobody. That's shocking. Just the places where we're already building it. Let's see, colonies need it. They need one here. Do you need any? You do need some. We'll just expand that anyways. No Kaido. So will this start going down once we pass? It's not going down when we're just trying to pass it. But I think it's they're not increasing it as fast, maybe. Wow, 81. That's a lot.
what's this? We'll get him in the action. I don't think he's trying, no one's, anyone's trying to land us anyways. And I think that since we're not uh, doing this, we can wind this back down. I wonder if you can save us that much money though. Oh, weird. This will. Why does it. I don't understand why it says we'll lose money if we do that. But okay. expensive. We don't have more oil to get. Right? Yep. Already maxed it out. Well, we can discover more. What? Prussia? to this front. Might actually have to switch to just defending the front. Not sure if we're stronger than the two of them combined without Prussia's help. I guess that's okay, Prussia helped us for a long time. is going to be soon to follow. And I guess they're pushing to Kiva is kind of the trajectory here. Wales is improving relation, but which one? Is it Wales? Wales. Oh, they unified one of the Wales. Okay, cool. Could have been Wales, Wales, or Wales. I guess we should actually use the investment pool transfer on the industry while we can, because it will be no longer uh, accessible once we enact in interventionalism.
looks like they did they conquer Thessaly? They did not get Thessaly. Cool. Thessaly held strong. guys' attitudes towards us. Uh, nobody likes us. Great Britain may be, be able to get out of being hostile. Oh, it's at minus 100. It's going to take forever. Jesus. Oh, I thought we kicked all the stuff up to the whatever. Russia's had enough. They're willing to give us everything. We will accept everything. Where's Armenia? That's Armenia? Come on. This morning was bigger than that. It's not bigger than that. Alright. So we got our treaty port back, though. Reunited. At last. So now I have our Are you mad enough at us now? Ah, oh, yes, we can take you. Which will crew a lot of... Alright, well... We're gonna do it. And then, someone who is the Anatolia front... We will put on this front. Bulgaria abandoning us? Is that what happened? Prussia and Bulgaria abandon us. Customs Union broken. Because they're no longer cordial. Okay, fair enough. This mean we're no longer allies with them? That's really bad if that's what that means. No, we're still... Okay. And, uh... Activate new PMs in North Africa, I think. We'd activate them everywhere, but um, we're about to go to war, so we do have the substitution penalty. Don't think anyone's gonna really want to join in on this with them. Russia can certainly handle their own separatist movement.
and we will be we will have to figure out what we will do once we get interventionalist, because I, I think we might have to wind down construction a little bit. Ottomans have been swayed to intervene on behalf of the Ottomans, which seems reasonable. Uh, which means we might want to add... So now we're infamous, but we might want to add... I think there's a way for us to look at all the potentials. Show potentials. It is showing potentials. Okay, what about for coal? North Africa's changing its PM. Do we want to take anything else from Ottomans in addition to taking something from Ottomans? Because there's two. Let's go up the right. Chop them up even more. Banned slavery in the Ottoman Empire, but which one? I think we like abolishing slavery. <laughs> they have a lot of claims on us. Uh, maybe this is the first step to getting them to not hate us so much, though. So we'll just have them revoke a bunch of claims. As well. Now why are we suddenly running a huge influence negative? We have an alliance and a defensive pack with Prussia. Seems like we only need the alliance. That do you have 16 mil? We don't have an alliance now. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna load. So we have an alliance and a domestic and a defensive pact. So that has to be a bug, I think. With them. Which makes it so that it eats like seven hundred diplo. But we need it for the achievement, so we'll just let it ride, I guess. times take forever now that it's uh, gotten so late in the game.
I'm gonna stop improving relations with the Ottoman Empire and stop damaging relations with the other Ottoman Empire. We are bankrolling New Granada. Can't really do anything with it. Why can't we change them to our customs union? Okay, that makes sense. Well, Bulgaria abandoned us. They're not a very strong ally, so we'll just do that. And stop bankrolling them as well. And now we can Maybe invite some of these guys to custom union. Will you change if we use that now? Uruguay changes to our customs union. I mean, we just accrued a lot of infamy, so it's probably hard to get these guys to change to us. You're close, no, you're not. Cool. We get Scandi in our customs union. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about their proletarian revolts. As much as we'd like to help them, really hate you can't join ongoing wars. And in a second, Ottomans is going to sway Ottomans, if I recall correctly. I th has been swayed to join the Ottomans because, you know, that makes sense. We're gonna not use North Africa because they are having a swap over. Like this should not be a pop-up that is as uh, important. Our market's enormous. Italian market. Maybe I forgot we got to make demands from them again. So we will demand that they ban slavery, that they uh, revoke a bunch of claims. Because I think that's kind of one of the reasons they don't like us, is we're occupying a bunch of their territory and. Uh, I don't really care which claims we're revoking, I suppose. I mean, there is a way to min-max it, but it's... I don't think it matters. In theory, we should revoke the claims of the most valuable places. Or like a continuous... zone. I never have too much tooling.
interventionalism, which is going to hurt for our investment pool transfer, I think, quite a lot. But now, we should, this should shoot down, yeah, it's shooting down now. Not as much as we wanted, I suppose, because they got what they wanted. The movement disbands. Polish Uprising breaks out. Interesting. We will not have a defensive back from Banjar. Everyone still hates us. Everyone still kind of hates us. Big Sag. Did we get them in our customs union yet? No, they're still cautious towards us. How close is Ecuador? One of the problems is we're not adjacent. Well, I mean, we're doing okay with the investment pool transfer. Oh, but it's, like, gonna shrink a lot. Yeah. Because it... That's the problem with the... The laissez-faire was giving us a much bigger investment pool. Uh, but I suppose we'll grow into it. A little bit. Interventionalism is not as good, but... Our pops were really wanting it, so... And, like, the machinists, so if we take a look at, like, the interest groups, uh, who's powerful? The trade unions are run by the machinists and the engineers, of which we have a ton now, and so it would be very difficult for us to keep them from getting powerful. Uh, and they are needed for the better production methods. So I guess this is just the trajectory. You go from laissez-faire to... Uh, uh, and then... There's not much opposition group, so... I kind of don't care about that. What's this front, even? Okay, I mean, I guess we'll assign some to it. New Granada wants to enter an alliance with us. Will you enter a customs union with us? You will. I think I'll pass on the alliance, though. And suddenly we have a bunch of Diplo. What's this from? I think this is a bug where we're, we have both the, the defensive pact and the other one. But if New Granada is in our market, then suddenly Ecuador is adjacent. Right? So then if we go to Trade Lens and we click on the Ecuadorian market, they are in need of. Oh, there's just small demand for all this stuff. Uh, services, wood... They don't really need anything, but... They're making cheap coffee and rubber. Coffee, rubber, dyes, sugar. So let's import those from them. Coffee, rubber, dyes, sugar. Rubber... And we don't care if this isn't profitable at all, because and we got diesel engine. Now we get them into our custom union, which gets rid of all the trade routes anyways. And then we can start to do the same with Venezuela. I was gonna say, I'm surprised we're running such a big surplus, but it's because our investment pool is gonna be is shrinking, which it wasn't before, I don't think. 
we just unlocked a bunch of PMs, so we're gonna hover over where the war is at. So you can watch the war as I kind of check out the PMs. I think it was, yeah, all the mines. So the first one we care about is uh, oil. Oh, it doesn't. We're all using ready using the best oil rig stuff. So this is gonna take more oil. Okay. Well, we are gonna put the diesel pump in the in there. Knife in the back. Was our military defeat? We're not getting okay. Whatever. If we change to diesel pump, we get a ton more iron. But we could just change in just a couple places if we wanted. Because we're gonna have oil problems pretty quick here, I think. I mean, we can make a ton more coal, but we're going to have problems. Hmm. Let's turn it on in Lebanon. And it fires laborers as well. I don't know about this PM right now. Because we're... Uh, let's check out. We have diesel engines now. Switching everyone to electric engines versus switching people to diesel. More profitable, much less engines. Or difference in engines. And refunds us a lot of electricity, which we are kind of running low on anyway. But I think we just start having to switch over a few by hand. I think oil's too expensive. I think we need more oil to make any of this worth doing. Can we switch to arcades here? No. We're enforced on Prussia. Wait, what? Oh, we would have sent. I thought they just crush it themselves. Interesting. Hmm. Wow, this episode's gotten away from me in terms of length. Uh, really just trying to get this achievement before the end of it, though. Empire capitulates, leaving only the Ottoman Empire in the war. Which is eminently reasonable. Still having radical problems. I'm guessing it's a lot of just shifting around jobs. Which is another reason why, like, Don't want to upheaval like entire industries. Getting good population growth though. They're gonna capitulate soon. And we get Muhammad Ali's ambition. So that was kind of the goal for the session. Incorporating this is yikes expensive. Um, and we'll just add a bunch of infrastructure to you, my guy. And some barracks. We'll set you to auto expand. All of that 
that stuff. Kind of wish we didn't have the Hagio Sophia. Uh, but, okay, whatever. Actually, uh, well, no. But, this session we have, uh, I think we fought Russia this session and uh, got back our, our treaty port. Uh, so we have been made whole. We got the achievement for taking Thrace as Arabia. And so now all we have to do is make an alliance with a great power. Uh, so we probably should... Are we rivaling them? We're rivaling them. If anyone we are rivaling is conciliatory, I think we stop rivaling them. Might just want to stop... Uh, I'm gonna check out actually a couple other things before we end the sesh. Uh, just all of our Diplo stuff to see if we can protect it and oop, we can protect it. Yeah, for example, New Granada. And then we will stop bankrolling them. Because we have everything we want from them. And we can also protect it for Karate. So we can stop bankrolling them as well. I feel like we are genial, friendly, powerful protectors calling it an obligation. We are so close to being able to protect with them. Not very close for them. We need an obligation on them. Kind of close. I think the military power projection probably caps out at 25. We don't have enough. I think we already checked them. Oh, they didn't, they're not in our customs union. They're kind of close. We got a lot to trade with them. Now we're gonna take a look at the Diplo lands, because we are really trying to get all the great powers on our side. Is this a bugged out war? Why can't you fight this war? We're bankrolling Scandinavia, so they got money. So this episode, we got the Muhammad Ali achievement by taking over Eastern Thrace as Arabia starting as Egypt. Um, we also enacted interventionalism, uh, which we would not prefer, but we were we're trying to combat these radicals, and it didn't even do that much for us, so looking forward, we probably wouldn't do it again, because laissez-faire, the big thing about laissez-faire is the investment pool contribution is huge, and here you get much less of that, and the trade-off is you can subsidize more places, but we're not even subsidizing anywhere. Uh, the only places we're subsidizing are uh, uh, infrastructure, and you can subsidize that with laissez-faire. Uh, so, um, yeah, you can also subsidize trade centers. So it's like, okay, we would want to switch back, but we're never going to get past that uh, with the industrialists, and so now we're stuck on an interventionalism. But sure, okay, the machinists like it more. Uh, we'll get less radicals that way. That's I don't think it's too big a deal. It's just we'll be able to build a lot less, but we're like building a lot anyways. The difference is like so the investment pool transfer is coming out right now, right? But we were building an investment pool overall, and now we're draining the investment pool, and so pretty soon it'll get drained, and this huge surplus we're running right now will get taken down. And so, actually, they weren't paying for as many different types of buildings. Maybe it's, like, kind of commensurate. Uh, I guess we should have checked a little bit closer. Um, but yeah, for, for next episode, what we will be trying to do is we will be trying to finish this form alliances with major powers, which is a bit difficult because uh, uh, France hates our guts, 
Yeah. Let's see. Austria hates our guts. Great Britain. They're hostile, but they're conciliatory. So, okay. Prussia isn't an ally, so we're good on that front. Spain hates our guts. Russia hates our guts. Italy hates our guts. And East India Company hates our guts. Now, we have rivalries with a lot of these, so like we could start taking off rivalries. Uh, you know. But they hated our guts before we made the rivalries, so... Um, yeah. I need to make... Uh, some kind of improvement. Oh, I'm going to do that. Uh, with either Great Britain or uh, Spain. And Great Britain will improve somewhat quick, but we're at minus 100, so uh, I don't know. That'll take a while. The other thing we could do is <laughs> we could try and ally the United States or Scandinavia. Right? No battle, but this is bugged out. Like, no battle is happening. I don't understand. Exactly. Um, but if we ally these guys, oh, well, they're antagonistic towards us too. Scandinavia is allied with us. So what we could do, or sorry, they're in our customs union. So what we could do maybe with Scandinavia is ally them and then try and make them a great power. Not sure how we would do that. Um, certainly seems somewhat reasonable, though. Uh, and I think uh, Prussia's bugged out because... We are paying for both the defensive pact and the alliance. And if we break the defensive pact, it breaks our alliance as well, so we can't do that. Um, maybe we could make him not antagonistic. Oh, we've been trying this entire time. We've been improving relations with him. Uh, we could bankroll him. Maybe that's... Who's got the smallest GDP out of the great powers? We could bank... So we can't bankroll them because they're antagonistic. We can't bankroll... Austria is the poorest one we can bankroll, but we can just bankroll this entire thing. <sighs> Which, why don't you like an alliance beyond being antagonistic? Uh, we have an alliance with Prussia, who is one of their rivals. So we're probably never getting an alliance with Austria. Why don't we take a quick look, actually? Who are you rivaling? Or who are you rivaling? This is more important. It's going to be hard to get alliances with any one of these three. Spain is rivaling us. really wish they didn't. Alternatively, for trying to get this, we could try and wipe some of these guys off the map. To bump other ones up. I wish we could recognize ourselves recognize Japan. Could enter an alliance if we, uh... How close are we to making protectorate? Not very close. We could make... We could use it to make an alliance, though. I wonder if they've fixed up their military at all. So before they've had, like, power projection of just 100 with 100 battalions, and now, yeah, the tech's coming in, and they're can use the production methods, and they're starting to build industries a lot more, a little bit more. They're in our huge ass market, but yeah, okay, so this episode, uh, TLDR, again, the TLDR is we got the achievement for the Ali one, we're looking to form another alliance with the great power to make another, uh, which is a bit tough. Um, We are going to, uh, we fought Russia, we got back our treaty port, 
uh, we annexed that, and that's kind of what we've been doing. We've been also trying to uh, expand our uh, trade. Why didn't it switch to showing markets? Isn't that the trade lens? Are we zoomed too far in? If we use the markets, we've been expanding our uh, Arab market all over the place as well, which helps us get more population. This is, I think, when we like started really adding a bunch and we've gotten a lot of migration. And so that's been good. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube algorithm stuff. Uh, if you haven't gone on a walk in a while, maybe take a walk and have a good day.